Hi and welcome to Stage 7 of the Silkway Rally. The car race was fast and furious on the wide open stretches of the desert of Kalmukia. A lot was still at stake. Ilya Kuznetsov was still in contention to finish best Russian driver. But his Silkway ended at kilometre 325. The crew was unhurt, but the Mitsubishi completely destroyed. Matthias Kalla was in contention for that precious fourth spot that means so much on the Silkway. But he too was to suffer a serious setback, gearbox problems. And the upsets weren't over yet. They struck Bogdan Nowitzki. With one day to go, his rally finishes. Meanwhile, in the fight for race leadership, it was almost mission impossible for Nasser al Atia. The driver from Qatar started the day with a 12 minute 48 deficit. He still won his second special of the Silkway, only earning an extra 1 minute 30 on Carlos Sainz. Al Matador still the race overall leader. He took off with a comfortable lead, yet he knew that it could melt under the sun of Kalmukia. Science remained calm and extremely focused. In the truck race, it was the day of the Tsar. After losing close to an hour yesterday, Vladimir Chagging was angry and decided. There wasn't much one could do against a legend in a Kamaz truck. He won his third stage and moves up to second overall. In other words, the pressure was on the shoulders of young Eduard Nikolaev. Another test for the 26-year-old. He naturally took off first after his second stage victory yesterday and keeps a comfortable 26-minute lead over Chagin. Ferdows <laughs> Kabirov was also a man beaten yesterday for race victory. He dropped down to third. While the good move of the day was for Alès Loprice. He too was storming a stage perfectly suited for his powerful Tatra. He equaled his best performance on the Silkway this year. And a tough day it was for Franz Esch, the second fastest at the first checkpoint. His special was then ruined by a puncture. The German in his man is no longer the best of the non-Kamaz drivers. 